Hey everyone, welcome back on the channel. Welcome back to another uh, FSR 3 update video, and we are back again with Cyberpunk 2077. And uh, this game has now been updated to update 2.13, and now it contains the FSR 3 frame generation inbuilt, but that is totally a mess, which I will show you in a second. But uh, before that, let me tell you that this is only FSR 3, not the FSR 3.1. So if you want to use any kind of upscaler with it, like uh, different upscaler like DLSS or say uh, XCSS, you won't be able to turn on the frame generation like as soon as you turn on the frame generation your upscaler will automatically be set to fsr3 so yeah we're also going to fix that and along with that uh, some users are crashing the startup issue after pasting the mod uh, so yeah we're also going to fix that so yeah let's start this video without any delay let me tell you that this fsr 3 uh, implementation is uh, very very broken like uh, the game is running at 100 plus fps you can see here it's like 120 130 but the movement is very jittery and it does not feels like 120 like it feels like fake fps uh, let me get into a car and i will show you which i'm talking about because in car there are more motions to detect the smoothness so yeah uh, now you can see i'm driving the car it's okay like it's feeling like 60 fps ps or so but it's totally not running at 130 and 140 so yeah uh, you can also see some noises uh, in the texture in the ground or at the roof of this uh, building or maybe not here maybe in some other roofs uh, maybe in there uh, there uh, some noises in that uh, buildings and textures and the road so yeah uh, now in order to fix the startup crash let's talk about that in order to fix the startup crash uh, all you need to do is turn everything off like turn the frame generation off and turn the resolution scaling i mean upscaler off so all you need to do is run the game at the native setting and then we can paste the mod and the game will run smoothly and uh, there won't be any startup crash so yeah now paste the mod shall we so we're going to quit the game and uh, here you can see the zip we will need this cyberpunk update 2.13 fsr 3 all gpu so we're going to extract it to the desktop now after opening uh we will see these files and folders now if you are an rtx user and if you want to use the real dlss there is a simply additional step which i will tell you if you have my watch uh, if you watched my previous videos uh, you may know what i'm talking about but if you haven't watched uh, just stay stick with me i will show you so yeah we're gonna go to the installation directory of cyberpunk which is here after that uh, bean x64 now where the cyberpunk.ex is located we're going to paste only these files if you are an rtx user and if you are an amd and gtx user and you cannot see the dlss after pasting this file you will also need to paste this nvgx.dll here but i'm not going to paste because i'm an rtx user so after pasting uh, what we're gonna do is uh, we're gonna enable the signature override because i have told it in the previous video that when using mods like this like uniskeller type of mods you will need to enable the driver signature override click on yes and okay and if you are using a dlss enabler type of mod like uh, this app or this mod you will need to disable the signature override after installing the mod so yeah that keep that in mind now uh, if you want to use the real dlss uh, instead of fsr3 if you have an rtx card all you need to do is uh, run the game and close the cmd window as soon as it pops up now we're gonna extra uh, scroll down here and we can see uniskeller.config has appeared here now i'm gonna open it with notepad you can open it with notepad plus plus or notepad whichever you like i'm opening because it has dark mode so in here you don't need to scroll down you will see upscaler uh, option so all you need to do is delete the fsr3-1 and write dlss here remember this is only an additional step for the rtx user if you are an gtx or amd user you don't need to set this dlss and uh, you can set this to xcss maybe if you don't want to use the fsr 3.1 upscaler so yeah again uh, i'm just gonna enter the dlss because i have an rtx card now let's jump into the game and i will talk a few things about the mod like how is this smooth and how is the image quality and everything so yeah let's dive into the game now god of War ragnarok is now available for offline activation at only 250 rupees or four dollar us 
get Microsoft Xbox Game Pass at 750 rupees per year and the Ultimate Game Pass including all the third-party launchers like EA Play, UBI Soft and Blizzard and others at 14.99 per year. All right, uh, we are back inside the game now and FPS is uh, still around the same because we have not activated in the frame generation from the setting. So yeah, let's go to setting graphics and first i'm gonna turn on the resolution to dlss because i have an rtx you can set it to xcss maybe and then i can turn on the frame generation to dlss now this is decoupled so you can use any kind of upscaler with the dlss frame generation which is fsr 3 but i know uh, you can use any kind of upscaler so i'm just gonna use the dlss because it looks best and then click on apply uh, it will show you that uh, this need a restart effect because the game is designed this way i'm gonna restart the game real quick now all right uh, we have restarted the game and now you can see it's uh, 120 130 fps and the smoothness is uh, way more smooth than previous and as i am using the dlss there is very less or no noise at all uh, you can also use the xss as i have talked about it uh, previously that this is decoupled so you can also use the xss uh, if you found uh, the fsr 3.1 upscaler too noisy so yeah there you can see up uh, this one is more uh, stable uh, than the fsr 3.1 upscaler which is very noisy and while driving you can also maybe all right sorry officer uh, you can also maybe feel the smoothness in the video too like it is very smooth than previous so yeah this will be it for this video uh hope this will help you uh, if this helps you subscribe to the channel it motivates me to make another video and don't forget to join the discord and also if you need cheap games and uh, windows keys and everything uh you know where to come so yeah i'll see you guys in the next one until then cheers